Hi there. Welcome to this IPEX presentation on the benefits of using fully shielded solutions for next-gen displays. My name is Ro Richard, and I'm glad that you're here. If you're familiar with current display technologies, you may already be familiar with IPEX. Our CabLine VS connector is the VESA standard for 16x9 panels. If you've had the pleasure of attending recent display-focused trade shows or virtual trade shows in 2020, you may notice that the innovation in next-gen display technology is primarily focused in three main areas, increased resolution and refresh rates, novel projection technologies, and increased flexibility for customizable designs. As the consumer demand for visually rich displays continues to increase, there has been a trend among all major display standards to push for increased resolution over time. Believe it or not, there was once a time when a 720p display was considered to be state of the art and cutting edge technology. In fact, it was the first display resolution to be named high definition as opposed to the standard definition that was in widespread use at the time. What's important to note in this chart, however, is that as the resolution increases along the x-axis, the required data rate on the y-axis also increases. And this trend does not seem to be plateauing or reversing anytime soon. As we push for higher resolution displays, we need to make sure that our electrical infrastructure and interconnect technologies are able to handle these higher data rates and bandwidths. Novel display technologies are another key driving force in the industry. Gone are the good old days of CRT when we could blast x-rays at our faces and block them with an LED screen, right? <laughs> well, LCD technology revolutionized the industry, not only from a display technology perspective, but also from a size perspective. It enabled larger projections without the bulky hardware. And then came other display technologies like plasma displays and more recently OLED and mini and micro LED displays. The third focus of innovation in next-gen display technologies is in the area of designability, or more accurately, increased flexibility for customizable designs. Foldable displays are becoming more mainstream and rollable displays have entered the high-end consumer space as well. As with most components in consumer electronics, size is king. And displays are under immense pressure to be thinner, lighter, and use less power, all while resolutions, pixel density, and refresh rates are increasing. So in order to facilitate that, the interconnects within the hardware must also be small, lightweight, and highly dense, while maintaining strong signal integrity characteristics to support the faster data rates. And this is IPEX's forte in the industry. So let's take a look at two applications where we may need these connectors. The first is a fairly common consumer product. It may even be what you're watching this presentation on. Um, of course, referring to the notebook computer. As you can see from the picture or the laptop in front of you, almost half of it is taken up by the display panel. However, the display signals themselves need to get from the motherboard or GPU to the actual display unit. As shown in item number one on the right here, IPEX has plenty of options for this connection, primarily with our CabLine product family. Micro coax cables are very common for this application, particularly if the cable assembly has to go through a hinge from the main board to the display side of the laptop. Micro coax cables are highly flexible and IPEX connectors are fully shielded, which is important if they're placed close to a radiating source, like an antenna. That's because signals traveling through an unshielded connector will be distorted by interference from radiating sources nearby. Having a fully shielded connector allows you to minimize any interference from external sources, while also allowing the connector to be placed closer to other radiating sources like antennas. And speaking of antennas, IPEX offers shielded RF connectors and shielded board-to-board -board connectors for their signals as well. In fact, IPEX connectors enable some of the major 5G solutions that are already on the market. Um, there are other interconnect areas within this laptop, uh, such as the camera connection, battery connection, touch sensors, and I.O. connections, not to mention 
all of the other components on the laptop where PCB real estate is a premium. As mentioned in the last slide, one of the factors that makes shielded connectors so attractive is that they can be placed closer to other components, thereby maximizing the utilization of the board space. As display data rates increase, these components also have to transfer data between each other at faster speeds. Standard traces on FR4 PCBs and even some traces on Mectron 6 boards are unable to handle the distances that these faster signals have to travel at these higher frequencies due to their insertion loss properties. Designers have turned to internal cable assemblies for such applications because cable losses are less than PCB losses for the same frequency. And as these display data rates increase, more traces will be replaced with internal cable jumpers to accommodate these high-speed signals. The second application we'll look at is virtual reality. A simulated experience is made possible by providing the user with an immersive visual stimulus through the display unit. And if you thought laptops were tight on space, imagine how much less space exists in this piece of hardware. Not to mention that it'll be on a user's head, so it, the lighter it is, the more comfortable it is to wear. IPEX has lightweight solutions to meet the interconnect needs for this application as well, both with micro coax cable assemblies and board-to-board -board connectors. Well, we've already discussed using micro coax cable assemblies in hinge applications, but shielded flexible printed circuits or FPCs are also commonly used in VR applications. Shielded FPCs have a lower assembly cost advantage while also providing EMI shielding from external sources of noise and they provide some flexibility as well. The insertion loss characteristics, however, are not as low as micro coax cables. Here's a graph of some major VR headsets currently out on the market where their resolution is plotted on the X axis and the respective data rate is plotted on the Y axis. And as we've seen before with the increased resolution versus refresh rate graph, the higher display uh, resolutions utilize larger bandwidths. So it's interesting to see that almost linear trend of data rate increasing as uh, VR, new VR de devices are showing up on the market there. IPEX is leading the way on this journey to support faster data rates. I mentioned at the start of this presentation that the CabLine VS connector is the VESA standard for 16 by nine panels. It did not need to be fully shielded when it was developed because the data rates were a lot lower. And as the speeds have increased, IPEX has designed a full suite of fully shielded connectors with various pitches, pin counts, locking features, and mating styles to meet the challenges today's designers face. We refer to them as Zen Shield connectors. So here's a look at the CabLine VS2. It's a fully shielded version of the CabLine VS connector. It can be used for HBR applications, UHBR applications, PCIe 4.0 applications, and even USB 4. In addition to micro coax cables that you see here, it can handle discrete wires for power applications or a combination of both for mixed power and signaling applications. The Novastack 35 HDP and HDN are two fully shielded high-speed board-to-board -board connectors. They're typically used in FPC applications like I had mentioned earlier with the VR headset. Uh, they're low profile, it's a 0.7 millimeter mated height, and their high density, a 0.35 millimeter pitch, make them ideal for applications where a high degree of EMI shielding is needed and size in all three dimensions is restricted. The HDP also has four dedicated power pins to provide power and high-speed signaling with the same connector. So the effect of EMI shielding is shown more clearly in these pictures of E fields and H fields. Uh, they show a cross section of the connector in an actual application where the plug and receptacle are mounted on two different boards and then mated together. The top row here which shows the results without EMI shielding, shows the leakage from the signals in light blue. They emanate out from the connector through the area between the two boards and out past the edges. The bottom row shows the effect of having the EMI shield in place. The radiation from the signal pin is restricted to the area within the connector and its shield. Outside the connector, there's almost no light blue emissions in the E-field plot, 
and the emissions in the H fuel plot are significantly reduced. So why pick IPEX for your next-gen display designs? Is it because our connectors are lightweight, highly dense, and compact? Is it because they have excellent signal integrity for the fastest display data rates? Is it because they have solid EMI shielding and EMC performance? Well, all of that may be true, but mostly because we have funny applications engineers who will support you and your team well. Thanks for watching this presentation. For more information, contact us at ipex.com. We'll be more than happy to provide you with your next-gen solution.